talked about there are two types of level shifter low to high level shifter and high to le low level shifter now how to place this level shifter where should you place should you put it in the block where signal is driven from or you should you put it on the receiving side let's let's understand what are the pros and cons of these okay so a signal let's say a signal is going from high voltage to low voltage okay so this is the signal which is going from high voltage to low voltage let's see so basically you will need high to low level shifter so if you place on the receiving side high to low voltage shifter only leads low voltage so at least you don't have to do special power rail to connect it because this block is running on 0.9 volt lower voltage and for the level shifter also you will need 0.9 volt the lower voltage so if you put here at least you don't have to additionally do additional power routing for this let's compare that let's say you put this level shifter on the driver side if you put it on the driver side the level shifter this needs 0.9 voltage so you have to do additional routing of this voltage so that it can be fed to this level shifter so in case of high voltage to lower voltage domain it's better to place level shifter in the lower voltage domain that means on the receive side to ensure that you don't have to do extra routing at least of a power rail so that's the typical rep recommended methodology that when you are doing high voltage to low voltage it's better to place in lower voltage domain the level shifter now let's consider a signal which is going from low voltage domain to high voltage domain okay let's put now the level shifter which is low to high level shifter in the receive side so in the the low to high level shifter will need both the voltages it will need high level high voltage also and low voltage also so if you place it on the receive side high voltage will already be there but the low voltage you have to route here in order for this level shifter to work so this specific thing you have to route specifically because it was not it is not part of this it is coming from let's say coming from here it has you have to specially route it so you need to specially route vddl if you place it on the receive side now let's say you place it on the transmit side so on the transmit side it's a low voltage block you have low voltage already but now high voltage is not there so you need to specially route high voltage to be so that it can reach the level shifter so for a signal going from low to high voltage no matter if you play, place it in the high voltage domain you still have to route the other voltage if you place it in the lower voltage domain you have to route the high voltage so there is not much advantage one way or the another uh in terms of routing but think of this case let's say this signal feeds to multiple blocks if you put it on the receive side you will have to use more than one level shifter but if you put it on the transmit side you will probably just have to use one level shifter so the advantage can come from that point of view if you place on the transmit side that you might have to use just on the output side so typically as in one particular methodology is cho chosen depending upon a particular as in design houses but it's good to place on the output side because then you will need lesser number of uh, level shifters to be used but that also comes with its own challenges so when you going from high to low voltage it's preferable to put it on the receive side so that you have to do less routing from routing point of view when you going from low to high voltage it does not make much difference unless one specific voltage is difficult to route you might 
think otherwise. Uh, but, but as an if you play certain the output side, you might have to use lesser. Now, in general, you don't do special cases that in some cases I will put on the transmit side, in some cases I will put on the receive side because then the verification of that becomes difficult.